Well, you know, it's kind of the buried theme of the revolution, I think, is water. Uh, you know, the, the sea, we, when we think of the sea in the revolution, we think of John Paul Jones and uh, out there over in the, the British Channel. And that was a, that's a great story, but the truth of the matter is it had very little impact on what was happening in America. Um, it was, had great symbolic value but it really wasn't what was happening. What, it, what was happening was Washington's attempt to establish naval superiority. But also going along there is, was his understanding of the importance of rivers. He had grown up in the Tidewater. Uh, he had, his whole life had been spent navigating the rivers down here, and he knew that the rivers surrounding New York, uh, particularly the Hudson River, was absolutely essential to how things were going to go. In fact, mo for most of In the Hurricane's Eye, Washington is on the Hudson. And, and it was one of the revelations to me to realize that, you know, we think of him as permanently attached to his horse, you know, as a land guy. But the fact of the matter is at Mount Vernon, he, he had a schooner. Uh, and when it came to uh, moving the, his entourage up and down the Hudson in those many years that he was stationed on the river, he would inevitably take the helm of whatever vessel was being transported. The book begins with an account of when the, the, the French envoy arrives in 1779 and, and is uh, be, waiting to be transported down to West Point, the vessel arrives and he's astonished that A, Washington's on it, and B, he's at the helm. And uh, this, is a, this is a different Washington. And so um, the, Washington w uh, was familiar with the water, realized its importance. Uh, we, you know, he was not an admiral in any way. And when asked, he, you know, he said, I, listen, I don't know naval affairs. But what he did understand was strategy and the importance of, of water to this. And, you know, we are, as a nation uh, have been defined by a wilderness. We think of it as the West. Uh, but before there was the West, there was the sea. That was the wilderness that defined America through the 18th century and the first half of the 19th century. And I think it's really enlightening to realize that our, the birth of our country, the American Revolution, that fate ultimately depended on the fact that this country is beside the ocean because it was the ocean that ultimately was the key factor uh, in the victory at, at the Battle of the Chesapeake and Yorktown.